You think I don't know you, but I do. You think you don't know me, but you do. I see me in you. I see you in me. In the cocky you, I see me. In the skeptical you, I see me. In the don't want to be here, don't want to do this you, I see me. In the lonely you, I see me. In the scared you, I see me. In the broken you, I see me. In the beaten down you, I see me. In the giving up you, I see me. In the F you, you, I see me. In the quiet you, I see me. In the curious you, I see me. In the creative you, I see me. In the hopeful you, I see me. In the determined you, I see me. In the resilient you, I see me. In the survivor you, I see me. So you see, I know you. I know you as well as I know my own self, which is hardly at all. Tosca, again and again. Opera divas have lovely voices, but they can be prima donnas too. Treating people with disdain, making their daily lives very blue. Long ago and far away, at the Cremonia Opera House, soprano Lola Lottavoce treated everyone like a louse. Finally, the company had had enough. They could not tolerate her anymore. So they concocted a clever scheme to drive her permanently out the door. The diva's signature role was Tosca in the opera by Giacomo Puccini. And at the next production, Lola would suffer for being a meanie. At the conclusion of the opera, Tosca kills herself over her lost love, casting herself from a balcony, casting herself to her death from a balcony towering above. As usual, the stagehands put mattresses beneath the balcony to break the fall, but they put a trampoline under them <laughs> to wreak revenge once and for all. When Lola disappeared, when Lola disappeared from view, the audience breathed a saddened sigh. But when she bounced up all askew, everyone had to wonder why. By Lola's fourth rebound, the audience was in fits of laughter. The curtain came down, Lola ran out the door, and she was never seen ever after. Thank you very much. cities. I worked in the farms and I've driven the highways and gotten along. The pace made me weary. I'd wandered off track and it's moments like these. I long to get back to my home, home where I long to be. Home is a sailor that's home from the sea. Ring, ring and ring the town bell. Welcome, a hunter, return from the hills. 
I gave them my time, I gave up control and I worked every night. I only grew old, I drifted from friends, I knew as a child, I drifted from those who made it worthwhile. That's home, home where I long to be, home is a sailor that's home from the sea. Ring, ring and ring the town bell, welcome a hunter return from the hills. And we'll dance, 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 dance In the moonlight We'll dance, 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 dance In the moonlight We'll dance, 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 dance In the moonlight tonight There's nowhere to turn but the road in my past It's there where I learned It's funny, you know But when you get through Well, there's always that light on there waiting for you That's home, home where I long to be Home is a sailor that's home from the sea Ring, ring and ring the town bell Welcome a hunter, return from the hills That's home, home where I long to be Home is a sailor that's home from the sea Ring, ring and ring the town bell Welcome a hunter, return from the hills Welcome home Lady, is this your 40-pound bag of compo composted manure? As I walk toward my car, I look up to see a disheveled, overweight 30-ish man in a checkered flannel Harley t-shirt and ragged jeans with a bag of cow <laughs> manure slung over his shoulder. Yes, it's mine, I responded as I popped the trunk of my Honda. I have the organic lawn fertilizer, too. As he drops the bag on my tennis racket, I ask, when you're done, can you help me with those pallets? Put those pallets in too? I say as I point to the pile of free firewood propped against the building. Sh you sure you want to? It could tear the fabric of your nice car. How about the trunk, I suggest. Okay, we'll give it a try. Let me get some string. When he returns to wedge the pallet into the tr trunk, I inform him that I plan to stack firewood on it and I was hoping to fit a few more. No way, lady, it won't fit. I'll bet you'll regret buying a small car now, won't you? <laughs> I'm thinking, no, and how can we tie it to the roof like a Christmas tree? He continues, up in New Hampshire where I live, we can't drive cars like this. They don't make it through the snow. What are you doing down here? That's a long commute. Leave it to me to ask a guy in a Harley t-shirt about his commute. <laughs> well, I used to run the family mill with my brother but we disagreed about the way things should be done. We never did see eye to eye. So I quit and came down here to make better money. As a warehouse manure hauler, I asked myself. While his words spilled from him uncontrollably about how seeing his father and helping with the house on the weekends, he tied the most perfect knot and bow in the rope that secured the trunk. He continued with more about his father's property and animals, New Hampshire snowdrifts, and the like. His talking was like a bag of grain burst at the seams, rushing to the floor. I began to look for a quick way to end the conversation or, get, or I'd get home after dark. I began to speak. Maybe he could tell. Just then, he became aware of himself, 
Collecting himself, he stood up cheerfully. Well, there you go. Hope you won't spend the whole weekend hauling wood. Thanks for your help, I said with a smile. As quickly as our encounter began, it ended. As I drove away, I saw his shoulder slump, his hands burrow into his pockets, and turn the corner of the warehouse. Steve Irwin's dead. And with his untimely passing, he takes some of our soul with him. Man devoted to being a kid, enthusiastic whoops, and crikey mates that allowed the child and all of us to feel free to emerge, if just briefly. He showed us that it was okay to be a kid. A man fully immersed in adulthood as well, devoted to his family, his family somehow now too close. We feel their pain more for the closeness. Serious about his work as well, a model of the all too rare intertwining of one's love with one's work. Steve Irwin's dead. But he left us a model for our desired soul, in the truest sense of the word, a hero. Thank you. The empowered woman, she moves through the world with a sense of confidence and grace. Her once reckless spirit, now tempered by wisdom. Quietly, yet firmly, she speaks her truth without doubt or hesitation. And the life she leads is of her own creation. She now understands what it means to live and let live how much to ask for herself, and how much to give. She has a strong, yet generous heart. And the inner beauty she emanates truly sets her apart. Like the mythical phoenix, she has risen from the ashes and soared to a new plane of existence. Unfettered by the things that once that pose such resistance. Her senses now heightened. She sees everything so clearly. She hears the wind rustling through the trees, beckoning her to live the dreams she holds so dearly. She feels the softness of her hands and muses at the strength that they possess. Her needs and desires she has learned to express. She has tasted the bitter and savored the sweet fruits of life, overcome adversity, and pushed past heartache and strife. And the one thing she never understood, she now knows to be true. It all begins and ends with you. Thank you. This day's sorrowful yet subsequent human in his constant search for the understanding of that which remains a mystery, love. Silence is this. Who, if pressed, would rise above the canopy that contains us? Who dare traverse beyond that of mere gesture and pose, and of solemn view, secretly kept while self withers away? Who, if pressed, dare present themselves wholly, while felt deep within their own chasm of doubt? Who would be this treasure that does see best, while shrouded in cloaks of fashioned darkness, where light craves life and darkness yearns release, where scorned memories reveal less mourned days? <clears throat> Ages of lullabies lie frozen and bare, scattering whistles, cease their alarm, subdull, serene, beings of flesh, flash no more. Eyes frozen, staring, petrified by the gloom, swallowed whole as long jagged trials, as each holds mass close, deep within. Most feeling harmed by one long-held dream, 
a dream born from silence and parades of night. There's none such silence as this, of times when all fell in absence and none and most bear not any of their own. Still, bold times pass, each yearning never spoken, while shadows toil deep within their wells, filling racks with canvas and shade. But for one there who has thought and is, who finds solace while torn and shallow, cries out for wisdom and it begins to rain. Rivers rise now beyond measures of green and solar. Days are calling as night forebodes without, and trumpets sound off as one last call, spinning in turn, balanced not ever, forever in tune. Turn now these gears and wheels, watching, ready to send, learning to stand, their reasons now carried forth by found remorse, then joy. Thank you. Algumas pessoas criam formas mágicas de contar suas histórias particulares. Muitas delas nem sabe como começam a ser escritas, como os personagens surgem, como a vida cria enredos, monta cenários, permite que os personagens alterem seus percursos pela livre escolha de caminhar ao lado de outro personagem, com outra história, com outra experiência de vida. O porquê disso tudo, ninguém sabe, ninguém explica. Acontece, como acontecem os momentos, a vida e o encontro. Como encontrar alguém capaz de colorir todo o seu cenário, seu enredo e sua história? Como criar cenários novos ao lado desta pessoa? Alguns chamam de presente divino. Eu chamo de presente ao coração. Dado por outro coração, que misteriosamente acertou a mesma batida e criou uma música comum. É a trilha sonora do filme de nossas vidas. Um filme premiado como o nosso tem as imagens muito bem dirigidas e a trilha muito bem selecionada. E tudo isso produzido pelo coração. O que mais eu posso dizer? Somos vencedores de todos os Oscars, estrelas de verdade na galeria da fama, famosos um para o outro. Parabéns por sua atuação no filme de nossas vidas. Thank you. Now in English. <laughs> For help you. <laughs> A living movie. Some people create magical ways to tell their individual stories. Many of them do not even know how to begin to be written. As the characters appear, such as life creates storylines, assemble scenarios, allows the characters change their roots by free choice of walking beside another character with another story, with another experience of life. The why of it all, nobody knows, nobody explains. It happens the same way as the moment, the life, and the encounter. How to find someone capable of coloring your entire scenario, plot, and story? How to create new scenarios besides this person? Some call it divine gift, I call it Gift to the heart, given by another heart that mysteriously hit the same beat and creates a common music. It's the movie soundtrack of our lives, an award-winning film as ours and has the images very well directed and the soundtrack carefully selected and all this produced by the heart. What else can I say? We are all Oscars winners. Real actors in the Hall of Fame, famous for one another. Congratulations on your performance in the movie of our lives. Thank you so much. Muito obrigada. <laughs> While well, I'm walking the side of the highway, collecting 
the treasure that's there setting one foot in front of the other breathing that rich flavored air well i used to drive by every morning the cell phone attached to my ear and i never thought twice of those words of advice from my grandmother down through the years well a big house is dandy fast cars are like candy money in hand keep chasing that storm and as you fly higher watch out for the fire like cartoon coyote you might run too far well grandma grew apples raised chickens we sold them to neighbors and friends i was the salesman she was the boss setting the rules told me remember use a fair deck when you're dealing don't put your thumb on the scale never sell a sick chicken or bag rotten fruit add value to sweeten the sale cause a big house is dandy fast cars are like candy money in hand keep chasing that star and as you fly higher watch out for the fire like cartoon coyote you might run too far well i grew up a salesman of promises wishes and dreams pieces of paper marks with a pen numbers no one else knows what they mean my eye that big corner office or the law put a crimp in my plan traded hand tailored suit and white collar for a bright orange vest and a tan Cause a big house is dandy fast cars are like candy money in hand keep chasing that storm and as you fly higher watch out for the fire like cartoon coyote you might run too far yes as you fly higher watch out for the fire like cartoon coyote you might run too far. Thank you. We borrowed a life with an apartment, shared elevator time with young adventure seekers. In our second floor loft space, one wall has masks carved by Indian Ocean woodcarvers. We cooked our food in a postmodern kitchen. No need to compost. Underneath granite counters, there's a garbage disposal. Outside our window, a railroad line runs every day to Miami, a time when pineapples were grown and harvested. Workers lived in cottages. Now, there are art galleries and architectural design businesses. They've replaced these houses. For tourists like us, each warm day is purposeful. We can walk past expensive shops or stop at one important hotel. Here in Del Rey, tourists clutter curb to table cafes as we continue on to the intercoastal waterway, busy with boat traffic, bridge opening and closing. Our goal is to the ocean. Back home, I can compose a poem to describe change, but for how long? and in a place so certain of itself. 
What about critical mass? That's what I came up with in Pineapple Grove. Thank you very much. It's time to collect, recollect, and come correct. I bet if I keep this thing up, something's got to give because I already gave what I like. It feels like my life. So in the midst of these dilemmas, I stay chill like simmer. Quick to the bull, but not getting pulled into it. So whose game is tighter? I'm still standing. I'm a fighter. See, I survived the phony pushing on me, overcoming insecurity. I will make you love me because, see, success is not an option. It's a being. It's time to collect, recollect, and come correct. Turn what's wrong into the opposite, the negative into the positive, making spiritual material deposits, uplifting the gift by using the fifth, freedom of speech, freedom to be me, freedom to pursue life abundantly. But pardon me, it seems as though abundance and abuse seem to have fused, leaving some confused. It takes two to make a thing go right in this inner city and suburban plight arise out of problematic distractions that can avoid dynamic contractions of a birthing of something new. Ideas, strategies, boom. Plan on being a part of it. Engage and embrace it. Like candy, you know you want to taste it. Success and notoriety, appreciation and accommodation, brushing off agitation of people hating. If you want it, you got it, but I'm telling you, you're gonna have to fight for it because it's time to collect, recollect, and come correct because our weapons aren't physical, they're biblical. Thank you. Running late, I take the wrong exit and my grandson laughs. He hasn't yet learned how to panic. 